This year's Lekhotla is about equipping learners with knowledge and skills for an ever-changing world. Not only must we adapt to new ways of learning, but our own curricula has to respond to the changes in the world of work. In addition to having the right content, technologies and safe uh, learning environment, we must ensure that our young people are grounded in the ethos of learning, but also of industry. The coronavirus pandemic has highlighted the digital divide in society, particularly with regards to the adoption of technologies for learning and teaching. It underscores the need to intensify efforts to ensure connectivity and equitable access to data. This calls for stronger public-private partnerships to ensure that we mobilize the necessary resources to help our learners. One of the key focus areas of the Economic Reconstruction and Recovery Plan that our country is embarked on is to boost education and skills development. Our schools must teach the skills that will be able to support the growth of the economy and enable financial inclusion. We don't want an economic recovery that only benefits some people we want it to benefit all. Studies show that the country is lagging behind in the information technology skills that are needed for the digital revolution that we must embark upon. Because it is here and it is happening now. It will not be possible for us to build a skilled economy as envisaged in the National Development Plan if we do not pay attention to subject areas at basic education level. Even as the pandemic delayed the process last year, the Department of Basic Education is making headway on the national rollout of coding and robotics. This I am very pleased about. The draft coding and robotics curriculum has been submitted to Umalusi for evaluation and quality assurance, and the draft curriculum will soon be gazetted. This issue of coding is really important. During this year, 200 schools will be piloting the draft curriculum from grades R to 3, and 1,000 schools will be piloting the grades 7 curriculum. However, focus on these new areas should not come at the expense of basic skills such as reading for comprehension. We also have to continue to invest in early childhood development as the foundation for cognitive development and create policy certainty where it is lacking. Knowledge and skills for a changing world also include emotional stability, intelligence, and an environment where learners can be safe from abuse. We need to build stronger social compacts that put learners and their education first.